I don't want to work on this bike. This engine sucks. Every good show ah! starts with fire. <laughs> that was, that was a good one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the shack. Our pyro has spoken. Guys, welcome back to, is this episode two or three of the CR? Kind of really episode two, right? We tore it down in two. version one. Yeah. Welcome to episode two, guys. Yep. Today, we're going to rip apart that disgusting engine. But first, we have some awesome stuff on the bench, some progress, some before and after of some things. Some trick parts that are going on this build that you guys can win. Let's check it out. Yeah, and I was kidding. I do want to work on it. I did want to burn it though too. <laughs> yeah, I do. Dude, check this out. We're gonna do a little sneak peek on your frame. So first off guys, look how absolutely filthy dirty this thing is. Totally disgusting. We had some weld repair done there on the exhaust bracket at one of our local machine shops. Get this thing straightened up, but absolutely disgusting. Now this is the sneak peek right here. Got a vapor blasted subframe, but oh, oh there's a little bit of water you. in that bad boy. Before you vapor blast these, you actually have to strip them. We're going to show you guys how to do that. It, there's anodizing, clear anodizing on all the Japanese models. So this is only half bright though, because what are you going to do with this? We'll give it the old uh, factory finish. You're going to do what you used to do back in the race days mm -hmm. and buff this up. Yep. Same with the frame after yep. I vapor blast yeah. it. Swing arm. Yeah. All that stuff. That's going to be sick. And it's actually going to be a module on our website, guys, MX Skill Shack which is where we will teach you how to do that. So you can do it to your bike. And also when this is done, you guys are gonna win this bike and everything else we build, we just give the shit away. It's not for us. So nope. if you wanna learn stuff and win very trick bikes that are worth 20, 30 grand. Lots of monies. MX Skill Shack and let's move along. Yeah, and tell your friends. It's old buddy. Yeah, if you like what we're tell doing. Tell your friends. If you like to burn stuff, burn stuff with we'll us. Teach you techniques on how to burn yeah. stuff. So these are our braking systems, our, our suspension systems. They're, the bearings are pressed out, something else we'll teach you guys, but look how disgusting these are. And these have already been ultrasonic cleaned. So yeah. pretty gnarly. We're gonna have to vapor blast these or coat. Actually, I think we're doing some we're coatings. Doing some coatings on we're gonna ditch this and, and do a Brembo front for you guys. Oh, actually, so Spicy. KTM brakes on that. But this is what some of these other parts will look like when they're done. Some more vapor blasting Sorry, over here. I'm coming in slow. Yeah, oh, you're doing the slow pan? giving them the sauce. Look at that. Yeah, and some of these things, we still need to take the nicks and dents out and or replace, but we clean them and vapor blast them to see if they're in usable condition. But yeah, all this stuff here used to look like this this junk over here. So I think you're gonna remove the casting flash from all these parts yeah. for everybody. Yep. And then we're gonna vapor blast them up, fresh bearings, the whole nine. Something else that's gonna be on, God, dude, oh. this is so gross. <laughs> on mxskillshack.com is we're gonna go ahead and tackle the dreaded RC servo motor and servo uh, setup or cable setup mm -hmm. when the bike's done so you guys know how to adjust these. These are a huge point of contention with CR250 owners 02 through 07, I believe. All right, now there's something special that just came in from our buddies up in Canada, Hugo Performance Exhaust. I should have unwrapped it for you guys sooner, but kind of wanted to keep it a, a surprise. Oh, 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 oh. Check that out. Look at that puppy. Freshly handmade cone pipe for your CR250. Steve, you rule, pal. Dude, thank you so much, bro, for everything you do for us. This thing is going to bark. And uh, yeah, other than that, save that for later, a little sauce. Speaking of sauce, guys, we hooked up with the boys at ETS. Mm -hmm. They're gonna make sure we have super high octane, super high quality fuel in all of your giveaway bikes. So yeah, super very, pumped on that. Very consistent stuff, been that's, using it for a long time. That's your favorite stuff, huh? I do enjoy ETS. Let's burn some fuel. Yeah. Bro, what are you doing to that well, thing? I'm just trying to plug the engine off here because we're gonna go ahead and give it a bath before we dig into it. Yeah, I see that thing is pretty stinking roached. It's so disgusting. In today's episode, guys, as promised, we are going to open this engine together and see if there are any surprises inside that's gonna enable us to get our parts list going, inspect anything for damage, see if we need to have the cylinder refinished, replaced, how the gears look, all that sort of stuff. So, dude, what are the steps? in uh, opening something as nasty as this. Looks like you're plugging it up, getting ready to maybe give it a bath. Yeah, plug it up, just give it a bath because mm -hmm. it's a little crusty. For sure. And then that way we can have a better a look little. at some things externally. Yeah. Where do, you um, get those, uh, where do you get those plugs, man? Well, these plugs, I've had that plug for a long time. Is that it's one a, from the bedroom or is that, did you no, buy that? No, bro, not else? the bedroom. Are we? It's a little worn out. <laughs> this one um, came from the old Mechanican days. Okay, um, sweet. It's an intake plug and it's got a little lip on it. It's pretty cool. We just nice. throw it in here and tighten her down. Uh huh. And I'm trying to see if this guy's going to work over our exhaust. I know where that one came from. Chuck. What? <laughs> you got to share the love, brother. Where's that from? <laughs> this plug? Yeah, where's that plug from? People huh. want to know. Well, I just have a whole bunch of them. Where'd you get them? Here. 
to mixskillshack.com. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's still hoarding like the old school mechanic days. Do you want me to tell him where it's from? No, I don't. Tell him? Actually, you don't. Um, no, you guys you can, can okay. find them here. You can get them for us. <laughs> We're going to sell you 17 We're going to sell you plugs. Caps. Yep. All right. We'll, we'll put it in an uh, MX Skill Shock episode. How yes, about that? Yes, that's fair. Okay. Say, is that the cable that you confused for a yeah, throttle cable in the last that episode? Up. We're really trying to get rid of that <laughs> throttle cable <laughs> slash carburetor as a combo deal, but yeah. I boogered it up. Just chopped it up. I got the wrong cable with my yeah. cutter. So guys, we're using this cart right now. It, it'll work as a mini sink, as its dish. We have not yet moved the shop sink. our industrial strength shop sink in here yet. Just one of the things. Still yeah. learning. The shop build, right? It's, it's never done. A little but bit. Look at that. Yeah. Doesn't look like it lost, or maybe it lost all the oil out of that maybe. shaft seal. Who knows? It's a little wet, but not like the YZ125. One, two, three, four. Five, all of them are there. Yeah, you got gears, at least under hand load, eh? Uh, oh. oh yeah, look at that. A little bit more yeah. bonicles. It's like it's, it's good and bad. It's not, <laughs> I don't know. Definitely don't want to eat it. No. Well, so introducing one of our newest sponsors and we have the bottle backwards. Fail. Get at us, Don. Can't just save ducks all the time. Ding. We're just breaking most of the dirt crust off of it. A little bit. And then, it's not really gonna look any cleaner, no. but you can just try these same steps at home. <laughs> <laughs> that plug's working though. The plugs are working great. Watch this. Still plug. Still plug. Now, in most cases, as a professional, I would take this and scrub this with more brushes than what I currently have. Uh huh because as Charles had mentioned earlier, we don't have the sink here. Yep, and within the on. sink is all the stuff. Yep. My fault. So yeah, guys, like Tony said, the idea is to just knock some gunk yeah. off of it. You know, this thing's coming apart anyways. We're gonna be cleaning it anyways, vapor yeah. blasting the cases anyways, but if you're the, not, a lot of guys are just gonna be, you know, maybe just a top end only. And yeah. if you can knock any crud out of the way. You don't want it in there. In your crank. Don't want that's that. That's a good idea. And not to mention just having God. all this debris mixed with oil all over your workspace. Yeah, it sucks. So. And then it goes into solvent tank and then it just contaminates the tank even more. Yeah. Just, just trying to make stuff yeah. last longer. Ugh. Are you having a time with that there? Golly, man. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> you need a chisel? It's got four pounds of carbon on it. Yeah, you didn't know you'd be making a sculpture today. Look at huh? this. That's why well, I'm the camera guy, bro. Ugh. Shall she we? Get, she getting a full rebuild, guys. And we're gonna see what's going on inside. All right. It's gonna be fresh. Let's do it. Bye. All right, guys, moving into the shop, we will bring that engine into the engine bay. Let's call it here. Got all the tools to do the work. Get that thing taken apart, split open, and check out the insides with you. From there, we will be able to get the steel bits out of that engine, set them up with the rest of the steel bits we've been collecting out of the brakes, the chassis, etc., and get all of that stuff stripped and replated cases will go here into the ultrasonic cleaner get some more of that gunk off before we go into the vapor blaster and we are stoked for this build we're stoked for the 97 125 as well but uh, i don't know there's something about these last gen honda cr250s that we absolutely love well, i'm just writing a note on our board here mm -hmm. keep your head on straight just so we know the stuff that's needing attention and also the parts we got to get all right um as we come apart nice that's the plan all right we've got a little megadeth going like a little steel roots can't go wrong with that nope guys we are ready to rip this thing apart you are mine now look at that thing oh yeah no size time. it up This is the first engine in the new shop coming apart. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Mike O'Neill's wasn't here was yet. was in pieces in the old yeah. shop, and then now we're, AKA garage. Yeah. Now we're actually in the shop shop. That's exciting, man. It is pretty cool. Yeah, we didn't do the YZ125 here either. What's even cooler is we have a badass customer build coming in, another CR250, a full build. Thank you, Brian. Can't wait for your bike to get dropped off probably next week from Moto Shippers, just like this RC4 replica. So we're gonna do something like this. A little resto mod. Yeah, just absolutely sick. So if you guys are interested stuff. in that kind of stuff. Yeah, we do that too. Feel free to reach out. Yeah, that's what we do, huh? Happy to uh, necessitate. Cracking those first nuts. 
Oh, and Charles is in the house, guys. <laughs> Those are nuts, bro. <laughs> Technically, yes. Yeah. Just see? use your hand as a hammer, guys. It's great for you. Her! We had a runner. Mm -hmm. This thing ran. Yeah. It shifted through all the gears. A nice little burnout on Instagram. Did a burnout. Vision. Brakes worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the tires were a little sketchy because they had about three pounds in them. <laughs> so I what, felt like I was doing enduro cross. What about the squeal? Like, <laughs> that I'm a little nervous yeah. to see what we got going on. When Tony was, was doing a burnout. We got a little engine squeal. There's a Looks squeal. Good. It looks good up there though. Hopefully that uh, hmm. the trend continues. Yeah. What you got there? I'll oh, just get my Motion Pro flywheel puller. Special tool? Special tool alert. All right. Get that. Go fishing for your mag, for your washers, guys. Always look. Yeah, I missed that. You pulled the nut off there already. I did. I did pull it off. So what's this tool do? This guy goes in here, like so, on the backwards thread. Notice the threads in there, boys and girls. Yep, right there, and it's going to grab the flywheel. In this case, you got to be, you got to always pay attention to your crank. Mm -hmm. This one, it's not going to matter with putting the flywheel in direct contact with the end of the mm -hmm. crankshaft. There's certain four stroke models out there, even some two strokes. Just yeah, pay attention. You don't want to mushroom the, the crap off, right? of it out. Screw the threads up. Yep. And on certain four strokes, i.e. Hondas, um, the older ones, uh -huh. like, man, from like, oh, two till, God, shoot, long time. Been a long ass time. Probably like nine, mm -hmm. eight. What happens? They had a copper bushing on the end. And oh, it was like an oil jet. Yeah. Oh on the left side. And people smash that and up. you just run the flywheel puller right into it and you plug it off and then you lose oil to your connecting rod right. and grenade an engine. No good. Some nope. of these tools would come with a cap also, right? That goes on to the end of the crankshaft? Yeah, four stroke to ones. To kind of cover that up like before this right you here. ram it off. That guy goes on the end of the crank. There we go. And you just go down. You thread it on till about mm -hmm. backs off. In my, at least how I do it. You go all the way till it backs, sorry, makes contact with the crank and then back it off about a half okay. a turn. Give it a little air gap. So it's not hitting. Gotcha. And also, like a KTM one, they got this little little chingus that goes in the end of it. Oh yeah, protector, a little yeah. sacrificial piece. Yep, or you can even use a penny. Noise. I like using a penny, it's copper, it's soft. There it is. This is grimy. Normal stuff, dusty, I don't dirty. see any like fractures to the... Mm -hmm. Oh, you and the Maxima. What, what, what? <laughs> Take a bath. Ding. <laughs> Sometimes when you have some stubborn equipment that doesn't want to come apart, you just got to hit it with some Maxima MPPL, like this. Maxima, come apart, you. Come on, <laughs> would you just come apart? Text Maxima, 208. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Now I can uh, see the hardware better. Yeah, you've taken to uh, conditioning those cases, have you? Yeah, just, sometimes you just got to get it with the MPPL. Got to hit it, that's what it is. You got to hit it. Maxima is the best for all applications. For all your penetration needs. I don't know why I really did that. <laughs> <laughs> Popped out easy with all that freaking magic. Sure did. Huh? I tell you, that's the magic sauce. I tell you. I tell you. I, I, I tell might you. not be able to hold it real well, but it's the stuff. Yeah, I'm you telling may you. drop it on the ground. But what was our slogan? It's Everything in life is better slippery. 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 <laughs> Slick. Yeah, so, got a nice layout cart. All <sighs> clean rags here. As the engine breaks down, there'll be a shelf for, I guess, each specific subset, right? You got bottom end, transmission, whatever. Top, on left, the rack. right. Top, left, right, Maxima. Bottom. Everything's better slippery. Slick. Daryl's desert dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Maxima. Ugh. Remove any stuck part. That definitely helped. Looks like you're holding the old special puller for something else on that sprocket. Counter shaft and like a flywheel, older, older style flywheel holder. Works good. Okay, here we go. Maxima. Maxima. I'm gonna kind of give it, I gotta give it some leverage. A little moment of truth happening right now. And bench a making bit too much maxima, eh? Loud noises. <laughs> we got a mushroomed crush washer. Nice. Pretty Been used 1400 times. Standard. Just give it the old gorilla. Look at that. Oof. Uh, it's nice and glossy, yeah, bro. Enjoy this while you wait. Finished product. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're done. Yep, all done. Going back in. Hey, we oh, got some fresh oil. Clean oil. Nice. Looks like HP4. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Motion Pro is now one of our sponsors, but I've had this tool since I was probably. Look at that thing. Oh yeah, way to take Same. care. Are you yeah. regretting your, your for sure? They're heavily conditioned, okay? Maxima it's now? gonna make our job so much easier. How old is that thing? At least 20 years. Nice. I'd say. I even got my initials on it. Um yeah. <laughs> DH, dickhead. Dickhead. <laughs> Beavis. But these are definitely on there. Okay. Is that one uh 
Gonna cause a fight, a little rust? No, no rust. No rust? This side, hold on, That's a different story. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys should buy stock in this stuff before you run the price. Are you just <laughs> fill her up? Trying to get that oil out of there. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Dumbass. You proud of yourself? I'm hella proud. <laughs> you see all the carbon on this thing? I mean, a little bit of MPPL in the crate case isn't gonna hurt anything. Right. We're gonna take it all apart anyway. So far, all we've done is drop every tool Tony's touched because of That's the not maxima. True. Pop a cylinder head off, crack a few bolts, and remove a stator. Bro, we've only been working <laughs> for five minutes. <laughs> Are you cracking that jug off? Yeah, I'm gonna just loosen it up. I mean, we got all this concrete and down then, here that I don't know. that's what I wanna see. I want to see this big old knuckle of crud separate. Separate? Yeah. I need a mallet. Give me what I want now. Here it comes. I'll just give it a little jarring with my rubber. Wackaroonie. Smasher. Fused by crust. Oh, oh. There it is. Oh. Maxima here. flying everywhere. Listen, listen. <laughs> by mud. Look at that. There's a fine crusty layer. That came off hella easy. Nice shot. Oh God, I don't know where it stops and where it begins. <laughs> How black it is. So All what do you see? Gas gases coming through this. Thing. Through those transfer ports? Is, That's a lot darker than normal, huh? Dude, hella dark. Pretty dirty? Dude, yeah, dirty. Why do you suppose it's so sooty? Well, I think it's just worn the hell out, man. Mm -hmm. Like this, these rings, it had compression. Yeah. And it was okay, but it's definitely, all the exhaust gas is in here mm -hmm. so as it's coming down you get your flame that's passing the rings whoa yuck i mean that upper ring is pretty shot so is it time for um an uncle tony smell test i'm not smelling this thing yeah you are i'm not smell it do it for the people you got you're recording this i can smell it from here i don't even need to get that smell close harder. smell harder <laughs> i think that upper ring is shot man you smell it. I just did. <laughs> You're the smell it's guy. Not that bad. You can see where the exhaust bridge has been wearing on this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can even see it in the ring. A little almost. dig in the ring. Yeah. There's a, at least a That'll superficial. It's a little flatten, and you'll lose a lot of compression. Mm -hmm. That way, I mean, it, it had enough to run. Yeah. And, and it looks like it didn't quite do the same to the upper ring. It's this thing's almost worse. I mean, just like it just relaxed like this. It's not mm -hmm. even. There's not a lot of spring in it. Couldn't be the Maxima MPPL that's all Certainly over. not, no, no, not at all. That just helps everything. But it, when you, yeah, it collapsed the ring, I almost think this upper ring is just pretty much non-existent in there for uh -huh. purposes of what a piston ring is supposed to do. Gotcha. Which is create a seal. Right. Um, and you mentioned we had that gnarly exhaust like yeah, to all the crap crazy. that's coming out of the front where the pipe should be so sealed just, off, all this crud. It burn effectively. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of blow by and exhaust gas is in here even. Like you can just see how black it is. Can't get here. out. Piston. Yeah. What do you see on the inside? There's a lot of shit. So you got that intake boot off? Mm -hmm. Anything suspect going on there? I'm just looking for dry rot, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like a lot of times Can't these things will, they'll dry rot out. Mm -hmm. Sort well, of sucking air? Yeah, see potentially. On the clean side that Not clean indicates side looks good. any kind of breach or failure? Nope. Nice. That looks good. Nice. Oh, we got an old school V-Force in it, which is kind of neat. Yeah, the old gray ones. Old Ricky Carmichael era. Let's check those pedals out, see what they look like. It's been there for a while. Yeah, she's been, <laughs> she's been solid. I, mean, I could hit it with some MPPO. Yeah, you know, you help. should have. That's the only thing you missed so yeah, far. I did miss the intake. These the old Honda reeds used to just gobble up like crazy. Mm -hmm. This was the trick, throw a V-Force in it. Why was that? Did they just flap too far They're out? Fragile, like no yeah. control or? I think the stopper on it, mm -hmm. the reed would come up too much and then it would break. Like those metal stoppers they had oh, that were sort of Yeah, because it came paved. out like here, right? They're like flared. Yeah, I don't think, I think they would break, but I also don't think they would perform the way they should have because they would limit its range. Okay. So here's our stopper on this Moto Tassinari. And then you get more. More uh, open. You also more, pedals on both sides, right? Yep. And this thing was definitely, definitely not sealed off very well externally with the exhaust. So you can see all the, the exhaust. Oh, gas just uh, more there. of the same we were mentioning Gross. earlier, with all the dark. Yeah, she was not performing to par. Not Good enough for a burnout in the street. Hell yeah. Make some smoke. Burnout. You know what that color needs? I think it needs something. I think I know exactly what you're thinking too. Yeah, it's looking a little dry. Some MPPO. Somehow. 
minutes. I don't know, you know. Grab you a can of Maxima's finest penetrating lubricant, the MPPL. You don't need many things in life, guy, in your life, guys, but you do need some MPPL. Just remember, life is better slippery. Slip. Hurry. Oh, so uh, get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for human consumption. <laughs> What's There's always a sneaky little D-shaped, oh, well, they call it a D, but mm -hmm. it's like a, a flat O-ring on the Hondas. Yeah. It goes behind. So goes that front, uh, it goes in front of the counter shaft sprocket collar. It looks like this. Yours shouldn't be covered in rusty mud, but this one is. So it looks like a D yeah. this way, like yeah. a half moon. It's cupped on the top. Yeah, and it sits in there and it sits in this collar. So on all Hondas. Ah, oh, slow down. Sorry, sorry. You're good. It goes like that. Ah. It creates a seal. Is there a groove in there? In that there collar is a groove, for that? Yeah, a little shoulder. Nice. I mean, this one has some other, gro it's groovy, yeah, baby. It's <laughs> this one's got some grooves. It's a man, baby. <laughs> We're gonna have to change this one out. What's coming off now? Just the, the clutch cover here. What I'll else? Pull the primary. But these gaskets like to hold, as well as seal. That, that type, because the yeah, paper, the, uh, goo. Boys and ones are they're, different they're, than the factory O-ring. Well, like they're, big, they're yes. paper one. Yeah, I have an idea. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All these old gaskets, they like to persuade. We're broken down here now, but we got to break this one here. I like the plastic one. Oh, yeah. A little bit more force. A little wacky little. Don't hit it with a metal hammer, guys. So I think a lot of people would not venture this far to the plastic hammer and, and that type of force. Plastic, you can get it a little bit, but don't mm -hmm. hit this thing with a metal hammer. Yeah, that'll be the end of the we'll piece. Bust out the old carpenter hammer. Dad's single jack. Yeah. yeah. My dad's an iron worker. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. Yeah. We'll go to Harbor Freight and get a cheaper hammer. Get one that's got Bauer some rubber on vacuums. it. Power vacuum. No. <laughs> no. Bad Tony's Charles. Still, Tony's after that Harbor Freight sponsorship. Bad Charles. Okay. Well, this kickstart seals in backwards. That's sick. Is it? Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at that. Cup side out. Yep. Neat. Yeah, <laughs> Score. <laughs> that's a nasty. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. I thought you, I thought you never. <laughs> Get in there. I know it's open. See, this is the trick, guys. This is open now. Now you know. Now it's just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. It's gonna Four make it really later. hard to hold. But look how much looser it is. <laughs> it's just dowel pin up here. Sometimes, but for real, guys, these dowel pins, they are a son of a gun. There's a dowel pin right there. Mm -hmm. That's what's holding us. So, just give it a little sauce. Yeah. I mean, oh, for so e modest. For extra measure. Oh, there you go. Fill we get up. all those other locations that don't <laughs> have dowel. We're going in there. there to get that stuff next. So, yep. you know, proactive measure. Guys, we're having fun, okay? Don't put stuff like that. If you're really going to work on your engine and it's not going to get cleaned, don't do that. I trusted you. If you're going to clean it, have some fun with some MPPL. Yeah. Give it an experiment. It will help you. Chemistry. Science. Much like the coolant and oil mix we have down Look below. It. See? So much easier now. Thanks, Maxima. Oh yeah, that thing's rusted. Yeah, oh, it's goes. got a hitty in it. Ooh. What? Nice, and a basket too. Yeah, the whole thing, dude. That's a full hitty. Man, I was nice. really looking forward to talking to Henson about yeah. parts. One less sponsor to reach out to. Well, thank you, Henson. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Henson. You guys are the greatest. This is amazing. Hell yeah. We got a Henson for the 125. Those things are indestructible. We were gonna get a Henson for this. Nice. What we can get a Henson we'll cover. Get rid of this piece of crap. Watch this. How's it going in there? Oh, it's going great. Watch this. <laughs> so you remember how I couldn't get that off? Oh, do me next. Come here. <laughs> Dude, you had to hit that thing incredibly hard Dude, to like, break I had to that whack that a little bit. Like it, they bond so gnarly to these things. Because well, the standard one comes with an O-ring, like you mentioned. A good reputation for no oil leaks, those boys at Boyson. Yeah. That's pretty solid. It does have a custom custom hole in the bottom here. I does don't know it? what that's all about. What? That guy right there. What's wrong with it? So I'm gonna oh, auger it, it little, out. Oh, it's a little bit drilled out. Huh. Yeah. Got your water, bro. Oh, you did? So oh, your initials oh, in Hebrew. God. DH. There you go. Suck it. You so, do, uh, you're getting better <laughs> at your your wildlife drawings, Charles. It's a draft. Looks like a W. A w with a sideways V. And a D. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's a penis. <laughs> it's cold. Thanks, bro. That's why it's so small. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
So we kind of figured out what we were gonna do on our actual website, MX Skill Shack, for you guys with the Honda in terms of the learning modules. And here are some of them here. We have, as mentioned earlier, the uh, servo motor for the exhaust valve. We wanna go over that and teach you guys how to do it. Uh, brake mods, let's see, cut the hanger. That's a, that's a maybe, we're doing Brembo's on there. So that may or may not make it to the website. Uh, Tony and I have the stock head pipe for this. It's a O2, I, apparently back in the day they used to grind all the black stuff off of them and make them all polish up and look really cool. That might be one, still not sure. Airbox mod uh, from our boy MX Bonds. We make a really cool, uh, cool ceiling kit for the airbox issue these Hondas have where dirt gets in. You can check out the last video if you wanna learn more about that. Hardware prep, that might be one. Trans build, that might be one. Uh, definitely, it's not on here, but uh, we'll be doing Tony's uh, factory days frame polishing, uh, buff that up, swing arm, subframe, and mainframe. So as you can see, uh, we're still looking for some ideas. We wanna do five topics per current giveaway bike build uh, on our website to do like a deep dive, more granular, more in-depth, less dick jokes, less maybe dick not, jokes. but uh, well. more teachy. These YouTube videos are kind of more- Just for fun. For but... fun and show you guys something interesting and you know, you guys are exploring this with us. So if you want to check it out, you can win this bike. You can learn some stuff and please drop us some comments below on what else you want to learn. And tell your friends. Yeah, that would be great too. Yeah, we really friends. appreciate it, so yeah. And it won't always be hosing everything down with MPPL That's or- probably a lie also. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're definitely Don't gonna hose people. things. I'm not, I'm just trying to feel it out today. I'm feeling like it needs a little extra sauce. Yeah, <laughs> whatever gets you out of your shell. <laughs> yes. Oh, you pulled that pressure plate. Yep. Oh, that thing's kind of boogered up. Yeah, freaking, they probably reused it. What does this clutch cost? Twelve hundred bucks or something? This about, system? About eleven hundred at least. Okay. Basket, so let's, why don't we up. reuse the uh, the washer while yeah, we're right. in there with the freaking thousand dollar yeah. clutch setup? They definitely reuse that. Yeah. Um, All right, the tray is starting to stack up a little bit. These are super high quality components. We are so pumped that there's a hint in there. Yeah, that's a mega surprise. Yeah, that's so awesome. The clutch is worth more than the bike was. Should we? Um, just try and make sure we can reuse that one more time. I think, does anybody want to, does anybody need a clutch lock tab? Yeah, why not? There hey, it is. Just send us an send us a email, info, mxskillshacks.com. Yeah. We'll drop it in the mail for you. Clutch tab washer. Uh -huh. We have lift off. I'm just going to pull the whole inner hub out. No. With the plates yeah. and everything intact. And then pop the plates off because I want to look at those. Yeah, you're going to look for some uh, discoloration, burning or anything. This is cool. Don't forget your giant washer, yep, guys. They're guy. usually stuck on the back of there, mm -hmm. fall off on the shop floor somewhere. And then you lose it and then you're like, some guys will just go ham and put it together anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, why does my shit not work? Yeah, oh, so I wonder. much slack in here. <laughs> <laughs> you jackass. Uh, okay, I'll put it together here temporarily. It's gorgeous, man. They yeah. just look so cool. That look at that thing. And of course, not... Uh, not a hint of any stairway to heaven going on there. This guy is a little, a little hot at one point in time. That's probably from you out in the street after it'd been sitting no, for years. I don't think so. <laughs> That's what that squeal is. That's not tires. Acidize, man. These things are hard as hell. Yeah. Tell the people what acidizing is. So it's a surface treatment. I think it's similar to anodize or hard mm -hmm. anodize, but like wicked gnarlier. Yeah, you guys noticed the hints and covers they never have a bunch of boot rub on them, uh -oh. like just about everything else, sear yeah. coat, anodized, whatever it might be. It's been in here for a while because mm -hmm. I can see some. You do see a little bit of, oh, it's like some superficials, huh? Yeah, but that's just a testament mm -hmm. to the part itself. Yeah, so this is right a stock there. basket. It's made in USA. USA. What's your order of operations here at this stage? What's well, coming out? You got the kickstart assembly there. Mm -hmm. I'll pull okay. this guy out. Uh -huh. These you got a time, you have a little timey mark here. Right, oh, okay, so when you put it back together, you don't have a bunch of slop in it? Yep, there's a timey mark there. It just fell apart mm -hmm. when I took it out. So just realigning everything before right. I go to just stuff it on the cart for a little while. And then we'll start pulling out what we got the shift shaft, we got an idler, we got the all mechanisms, of these shifting components, so to speak. You got some paws in there that like to fly across the room. Oh, yeah, those things will fly. They'll, and then uh, maybe fly. when we get to it, I'll show the people a little trick on those dowels that are crusty, how to get them out. They gotta With, soak in a bath yeah. in MPPL for a little while. Well, yeah, but then you got the, your screwdriver trick too. Uh, why am I not remembering this? Really? Screwdriver trick? Yeah. Where you, or the drill bit trick? Yeah. Drill bit, drill screwdriver. Bit, screwdriver. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. 
okay. shank of some kind. A shank. Because that one's, that one's crusty, and this is pretty typical of a Honda. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get concrete gaskets that hold everything together, which is good for sealing, but you got to scrape for four hours. I what mean, did this you one, call it? Concrete. What it do they do? It's so hard. Well, they do put on some of the gaskets, they'll put like a bead of glue mm -hmm. around the edges, the depending the on thing? where it is. Yeah, and when the engine gets hot, it melts that glue. Concrete. And then it turns into Our concrete. Our favorite color. Oh, it is a good one. Before I forget, always look for washers because there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, there yeah, there'll be here. one hanging on the back wall in there. That's There's one water for the water pump, pump mm -hmm. right there. Gonna go put him over and here. The oil holds this stuff in place, guys, until it falls out when you're not looking. Yep. And then you're like, where did that go? Will it pop out? Mm, this one's gonna be straight. Yes. Versus not straight? Bent. Oh, okay. How's that thing look? Came out pretty easy, yeah. huh? Mint. Nice. The teeth look pretty good yeah. for the splines. The yeah. shifter was tight. Uh huh. Thankfully, because right. didn't, so it didn't wear the splines out. It might be a okay on this one, Chuck. Outstanding. Just some wear. So that plate right there looks like it does a couple things. It retains a bearing. Yep. Retains your uh, shift mechanism mm -hmm. with all your pawls and your right. springs and your uh, your shift drum end on okay. the inside there, and it also encapsulates your pizza cutter down there with the the spring or your shift locator. Mm -hmm. Selector, gear selector. selector. But when you go to pull these guys, put pressure against this. See where my thumb is? Uh, no, let me get a better I don't know if you can get in vantage there. point here for the peeps. You are over the mechanism. Pointer finger right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Thumb. There's a little plate. These two little paws and springs and the little caps are inside this T-tent. Yeah, you push it, about put pressure against it that here. That guy there, and there's another one on the other side. So I'm compressing the springs mm -hmm. and the and the pawls. You're forcing the plate yep. that direction. So I can pick this up as one unit. If you pick it up separately, all, everything's going to go flying out of there. Yeah, these pieces are Pretty unbelievably small. small. I'm going to show you on the cart here. So cool. put your hand under it. So we're going to go into our cart here. There's our mounting bolts for it. Ah! Okay, I'm just trying to make some room so I, I can get the, the the shift end drum, the drum end in here. But when you go to pull this apart, can you see it, Charles? Yeah, okay. okay. I believe so. So you just push this through like mm -hmm. this. Yeah, you guys see all the stuff that flew out. But when you put pressure against it, it holds everything together. And then mm -hmm. there's a plate, there's a pawl, there's a spring. There's a plate, there's a pawl, and there's a spring. And these are directional, okay? So you yeah, just got to pay attention. Are shaped in a certain <clears throat> way, right? You go in a certain spot in here. So this groove on the detent is here on the inside, mm -hmm. and on the other side, opposite. It's like this. See? Well, we will explain that more when we go to assemble, and you'll be able to likely find that on MX Skillshack. Probably. Should that be one of the topics? I mean, it could be. Okay. But you guys, like, let us know. Like transmission, like gear shifting, for sure. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. We could do that. Okay, there we go. More better. What you got there? Uh, just the locating pin for the selector, mm -hmm. the detent. These Hana ones, they, this one's got a lot of lot thread locker on it, so. For sure. Whoa, just trying Pizza to get it off. just shot that thing yeah. out. Bye. You can see all the Loctite boogers in it down mm. here. Yeah, it's just I didn't want to crank on it too hard with that impact gun because if something's in there, never know. Wreck a thread, wreck a shift drum, and I don't want to do that. So these pizza cutters on these Hondas, did they always use a solid roller on the end of that as thing? I can remember. Unlike the, the what, YZ250 had a, a caged bearing yep. tie that would explode, would explode, go through the transmission, while the YZ125 had a solid roller. Yeah, at the I same so. time, which yeah. doesn't really make any sense. No, I don't know why they did that. And then they went back to the solid, mm -hmm. like after 15 or something like that, wasn't it? I heard that, yeah, later years. Mm -hmm. The connecting rod feels good. I don't think our squeal was coming from this. Mm -hmm. You're just checking a few things before you pull this case open? Yeah, I was just so trying to investigate. locate some play or... Where that, where that noise was coming from. Because mm -hmm. it did have a squeal and I did not like. It could have been clutch related potentially but i mean checking all our bearing play and our uh -huh. bearings feel good on this side it looks to me like you are ready to split this sucker open about ready yeah just wanted to 
crack all the hardware loose by hand uh -huh. just to make sure we don't have any is that so that you have a chance to feel it rather I than the like tool to, just decimating yeah. something yeah sometimes depending on how old it is mm -hmm. and if it's ever been worked on or anything like that this one doesn't look like it's got a whole lot of tool marks on it uh-huh so you think this is the first split i think it may be i don't know though because that intake sorry that left side main seal uh-huh Oh, this guy here sunk in bright and like oh yeah quite far you were saying that seals in maybe two mil too deep maybe yeah so maybe. There's, a, there's a chance that either somebody stuffed it in from the outside or rebuilt it at one point it's possible I, i'm gonna vote someone stuffed it in it's it maybe charles oh i wasn't even trying to go there God, good job you sick bastard you <laughs> thanks for spicing the video you create a monster yeah a minute ago he said the rod felt good oh i didn't even catch god dang it what you got there? Case splitter. Nice. Wow. You can tell by the way it is. It's just so neat. Somebody in another video really geeked out on this one. It's a a, a Cowie Kawasaki. factory Cowie part, right? I got this freaking ages ago. Ages. I didn't even know Motion Pro had a case splitter at the time. Um, oh yeah, we can't use this. Throw this thing away. Motion Pro, come on. Help wink, us wink, out. Double wink. Double wink. And I'm gonna go a little easy with the ratchet on this one instead of the impact, because it's that old Honda gasket that likes to have concrete the old cement. on it. So, all our hardware's out. Let's do it. Love tap? Just giving what does a that do? Tap. I'm just trying to free up the, the counter shaft in the bearing. We got another nasty rear Sometimes, dowel somewhere. Yeah, it's in there. It's, it's in there. To split up front. Oh, there yeah, go. it actually busted through all that exhaust poo. Yeah, you let the Maxima do its work. Imagine that. Imagine. Fancy that. And then get up here a little bit, tap it. Just take the pressure off. Mm -hmm. Try to even it out. Right. Because now we're pulling kind of at an angle because we're pulling off the crankshaft, right? Just so so everything is, will right? bind. Always that way. A little bit back here. So you lift it up and find a strike point on the opposite case to try to drive the energy there mm -hmm. so this case can free up. There she goes. Hear that? Yeah. Get that nice hollow sound. Yep. And now we're even again. So now we can just give it some... Not too bad. No, dude, this thing... Definitely a lot less fight than many. No joke, man. Our big concern at this point is going to be transmission. How do those gears look? Because these gears, guys, you unobtainium. You can't get them anymore. Uh, new, at least we've not been able to find any. Yeah, it's a like third, fourth, fifth. I think is what they don't make anymore. Yeah, uh, counter shaft. Maybe others as well. And even Jim Hasker saying he yeah. tells his engine build customers, "Hey, here's the deal, dude. Just pray. Don't hold your breath. Yeah, just pray." Take this out and just lift it and go slow because there's washers in there, guys. I know from experience. Mm -hmm. And the tranny shafts, mm -hmm. those washers? Those ones. And you can make a mistake and forget which one went where. So look at the parts finder. Yeah, I've done that before. Done it before. <laughs> Not a good one. It didn't want to shift into fourth, third, fourth gear. It was uncool. Night before a race? Two nights before Two a race. Two nights before a race. So you had yeah. time. You told me you rectified that before the race. Yeah. You but pulled it off and you learned a lesson. Yes. Pay attention. What year was that? Oh, this bike. It was 03. Oh, 03 wow. CR250. Yeah. You're revisiting your old glory days. The old. Yep, see? Washer. Exhibit A. This one goes right here. It, it was this bastard. I'm pretty sure it was this one that I goofed on. Oh, it was somewhere else or not yeah, in there at I all? Yeah, I had the transmission apart. Oh, and okay. I misplaced this washer. All right. Everything. Cross your fingers, oh. guys. Look at that. Disgusting. Yuck. That's our. That was. Is that, that, that's the squeal. I think. Is it, it dragging on the was, bearing? It was locked. Or the uh, seal. I had to. It had a notch in it. Oh, okay. So that thing was. It Possibly. was on the way out. Well, it's it's going to be full of all that shit, right? That's not exiting well, the combustion chamber. Yeah, which is definitely not helping things. Yeah, and that more grit than normal. I think, Look at the, that. I think the main bearings were our squealers. Things damn near yellow. It's the same color as a gasket. It's disgusting. <laughs> OEM crank looks like. Looks that way. Yeah, it's got a key. I couldn't tell what was on the other side. We'll find that later either. It's a K. Oh, the rod? Yeah, a K, a K series rod. These are Japanese bearings, so they're probably original. Uh -huh. 
You see anything? These are good. Tails with the screws and the keepers and or that, anything? That blind side, these things always get grimy. No, I mean, that's never been touched. It's the name of my favorite movie. That or Rain Man, I thought that was your favorite song. <laughs> They're on the same shelf. Queer. <laughs> Any chatter on there? A little bit of, little bit of showing, but normal, huh? Yeah. We'll see. No chunks yet. There was no metal in the oil. I think this is pretty freaking cherry, Chuck. Oh well, hopefully that looks the same once we get to them dogs. Dogs. Pin. Pin. Fork. Drums. What do you see? I think. It was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. You don't have any burns or scores on those, huh? Daryl. That looks uh that looks like Thank new. You. Right? Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> You're alright. Got your other two. It's a nice thing Mahana's they label them. Oh, the unlike those gas. KTM ones. Yeah, they with three pin dots. punches. And some of them had, and we had them backwards. Yeah, thinking of the sequence. One, two, and three dots, right? So four R, right side. Uh -huh. Right side engine case. Right side goes in mm -hmm. here. This one can only go in the main shaft. Uh huh. Um, and then the one has an L on maybe. 4L. I mean, it brilliant. makes sense. Science. Who would have thought? Who would have done? Jeff. Who would have done? Brilliant. Fuck it. It's easier to do a transmission. You just grab the whole thing, mm -hmm. push the shaft on one side, give it a scoop, push the shaft on the other, hold everything, because they'll fall off. And also be mindful of washers. Yeah, there'll be washers on that. There's back a washer wall in there. Well. There's a collar. There's a washer. There she is. Check that bearing. No washer. That guy, Gud. Mm -hmm. Get our piece of crap out of there. A little bit of red locker. Just trying to get everything back in place, but yeah, that looks pretty sweet. So you got these all bound here. What's yep. going on? Well, nice. Now look. look. Uh, yeah, your washers are uh, staying put. Could too brave with it. Put. It'll still move, but everything right. is held in place. So you can look at the diagram. Mm -hmm. And then print it out and you can use it as a worksheet. Beautiful. But yeah, our transmission is out and it looks pretty good. Actually, not ours, yours. So we go back to our case splitter. You're gonna push that one out? Yes. Why is it that some of them simply fall out really easily and some of them require a push? The bearing, it's just mm -hmm. a tight fit. Okay, um, is it, so is it same bike could have two different scenarios or? Uh, yeah, uh, potentially, you know, some of them just fall right out uh -huh. just because it's just enough of an interference fit to where it will, it's enough to hold it tight. Uh -huh. It's almost like a transmission shaft in a bearing. Okay. Where it's enough to be a nice tight fit. Right. In this case, that's too tight. I just know when I get a struggle, I grab the old case splitter and use it as a pusher. Yeah, you don't uh, beat the piss out of it, mm -hmm. in other words. So you got the little push and the even. penny in there, so to speak. Yeah, that's the KTM special tool mm -hmm. that just goes in the end of the, the crank because this won't really fit in that hole real well. Gotcha. It'll booger it up, huh? Yeah, so I just put that guy in there. We're going to plan on rebuilding this crankshaft, so don't want to smash it up. There she be. Look at this. Big deal. Easy peasy. So dude, I mean, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. As far as just breaking something down. Yeah. Man, not bad. You had some concerns about this bad boy. Yeah, that cylinder. Little checking little, off cam. A little nervous. Yeah. Kind of. Stuff. Stuff and things. things. Those, uh, those rings were shot. Mm -hmm. that's p yeah, one thing. of them was kind of bit down inside. Yeah, the bottom ring was stuck. Yeah. The exhaust bridge here. You got hammered down a little bit there, huh? Uh-huh. So yeah, you can actually see yeah mark right there the mark yeah a little bit square so just some interesting stuff there was that and we had the Henson and yeah that was a mega bonus too yeah that's a that's a big deal that's, thanks that's sick. thanks a lot transmissions in good shape mm -hmm. yeah I'm super stoked wherever the hell it went it's down here kind of cracked it open all the way and the mechanism and check it out the, the shift forks look good I haven't stuck them on the plate mm -hmm. we'll do that right check now check the uh, flatness or lack thereof. Oh, no walkie. Nothing no tink there. tink. Nice. That one's good. That's good. So yeah, stuff like that, guys. We'll have to obviously pull these bearings out, check the transmission incompletion. Uh, go ahead and get these cases. 
and things like it into the ultrasonic cleaner or melt the rest of that slag off. That way we can vapor blast these things and yeah. make them pretty much unrecognizable, make some parts lists and some parts orders. Yeah, and I don't think, I mean, I've been making some notes here and there, a little mm -hmm. bit on the bench over here that we yeah. got to deal with. Zinc pile. Zinc pile, and we got to get all our replacement parts, bearings, gaskets, yeah. new piston kit. We're gonna send a cylinder out, mm -hmm. get that redone. Yep. Replated. I don't think there's a fracture in the bridge, uh -huh. but that's what these CRs used to do. Oh yeah, some to, of these, uh, these 02, 03, the 04. They would break crack down there because they get real thin like mm -hmm. especially a ported one because they would really go kind of hard wild. wild on those this one some of the earlier rms were like that too the bridges were real thin on the intake side i think it was yeah so they would crack but i think that just needs a replate i mean it actually has a decent cross hatch considering okay I mean, you were pretty sure that was the oem crank yep it is a kz3 rod that's a that's an oem 250r nice we got off rod. light bro so far <laughs> so far yeah yeah i mean there was no chain let goes on this case where the chain mm -mm. you know took the case out and the case saver so that was nice yeah it was I mean, good to see God. that happens a lot on these old bikes yes and being an off-road bike like it's got some it's got some bumps and bruises and mm -hmm. some scars but definitely nothing hardcore there was no, no. Erzberg rodeo on this thing no it's got some rock marks and chips but yeah. stuff will buff up and clean up and then aside from you know the, the cylinder and the piston seal issue and the exhaust, I think that leads us to believe that's what's going on here in the bottom end is our main bearings. That left side main bearing had a squeal to it, mm -hmm. I feel like. because I think that's what you heard I when you burn out? And it, you know, moments ago when I pulled that case off, I felt the bearing and it had a big notch in it. Uh -huh. so, like, a, like it broke loose when you yeah, grabbed it kind of? Yeah, but this one feels a lot better than that one did, but that seal's also in a better position. And I haven't, I haven't looked at that left side seal yet, to see, oh, to confirm the actual, to see how uh, over depth. Oh, and, blocking potentially yeah, blocking to the see hole. See if we got a block. See if we got a block. That means we're not oiling. You can see the light see, down there. See. Uh huh. Do you want to tell the people what that's for? We've covered it in other videos, but so yeah, as the, new as the piston cycling. There's pressures in the in the above and below the piston. Above the piston. Oh, sorry, above the rings. Right above the piston rings, you've got your combustion below your piston rings is where you create your suction. So that's what's bringing your intake charge in. Mm -hmm. And then it's also transferring it through the ports above the piston. So as it's cycling, you know, you have your air fuel mixture and with your fuel, you have premix oil, right. which is lubricating everything down sure. here. It's lubricating the piston. Um, it's lubricating the rings. Those it's bearings. It's lubricating these bearings. Mm -hmm. So, and the connecting rod bearing, the connecting rod bearing felt great. Yeah. So I know that's getting adequate lubrication this bearing was my concern because of this seal. And yeah, so when the seal is in too far, you can see the machine surface, it's mm -hmm. beyond. It's supposed to be even with that or even just a skosh above it. Mm -hmm. You guys would be blocking that oil port. This guy right here. So if you, pa if you, if you push that seal in too far, pull it out and sacrifice it and get another one. Yeah. Because what will happen is you'll plug that oiling port right there and then you're gonna you eventually you're gonna lose a bearing. Ass bearing eventually you're gonna lose a bearing and this had i mean i did douse everything with mppl so it's hard to tell mm -hmm. what was oil and what is not mppl <laughs> that was for pure dramatic entertainment yeah but life's better slippery yeah, yes. was that our slogan yeah, that was yours <laughs> <laughs> so in this term now it feels all right but I don't have a lot of confidence well, in it. We had the same thing happen on my RM, remember? Yeah, I got a squeal mid-air. Yep. I was yes. like, oh man, that felt tight. Yep. Landed, Something shut it off, go. took it apart. My seal was buried in that yes, case. Yes, it was, so, wasn't it? Buried. Yeah, it yeah. was. That's one of our next giveaway bikes, guys. Yep. Four RM250. It's the one You're next. Welcome. But yeah, all this is getting changed out. Beautiful. All new parts. Cool explanation. I think so. I don't know if it made sense. I hope it made sense. Definitely. Um, if I could understand it, then everybody watching can definitely understand okay, it because i'm retarded <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that pretty much closes out the engine teardown video i hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed filming yeah. it did you have fun i did have fun i had a great time keeping yeah, my hands good. clean and not doing anything but yeah talking shit, i did bathe in some dpl <laughs> yeah, i think at bit. some point a i got oily. some overspray life's better when it's slippery that's what you're saying these days now. <laughs> yeah man so guys Again, hope you enjoyed the video. Next up, we are going to do, at least in regards to this CR250 on YouTube. Yes. You have something special in store. We're going to give it the old uh, 
well, the frame, mm -hmm. subframe. Yeah. This swing pile arm. of crap back here. Now, the pile of aluminum behind us. I'll get the swear on while you talk. You got that? Okay, yeah. we're going to give the old factory finish uh, from, uh, oh shoot, or it was like 10, almost 20 years ago now at this point. Yeah, 15, These? 15 years ago yeah. was when I was doing this professionally. Dude, um, yeah. trash. We had to get this one repaired. Filled. We had a little fill there that we got to blend. And what about the chain adjuster bolts? Chain adjuster bolts, those are out. Those were both seized and broken off. So yeah. thanks to our uh, awesome machine shop. Yeah, well, we Timmy. just turned that stuff over before we screwed yeah. up even worse. But yes. a lot of crap on the bottom here. All these so, pits. You know, we're going we're gonna to try all to that clean stuff a lot out. of that up. This is going to be uh, an anno strip episode too, right? We're going to put this yeah, thing in our to. special chemical stripping tank yep. and get this strip, show you guys how this way turns completely black. And then at that point we can vapor blast it get it and to the level up. of that subframe mm -hmm. yeah then tony's gonna go i want to buff it up eight shit on it uh factory days yeah so well, some people have asked about how to teach us how to do some factory scrub tips for sure and it, the vapor is a really cool look yeah, it's, it's beautiful but yes. like this is even brighter than that and then you get some probably some cool brush lines yeah i would say too brush lines i don't know why i'm still holding this thing yeah put it down Brown. go to sleep yeah go uh, to sleep in the meantime We'll be working on all the other stuff on the Instagram page. Do a lot of reels, uh, mm -hmm. transformation stuff. So this old yes. crappy linkage, crusty stuff. We'll go through the whole process, start, finish, yeah. result. So really fun. Guys, check out the Instagram on that note. Yep. And if you like learning about this stuff, if you enjoyed today's engine video and you want even more in-depth stuff, where can they find that? mxskillshack.com. And if you have any questions, hit that contact link. Info at mxskillshack.com. Yeah, for sure. Or leave us a comment here on YouTube. Yep. Dude, 10 bucks a month. I mean, 120 bucks a year. You guys keep food in our family's mouths. We yep. get to do what we love to do for you. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to win badass bikes. Badass so, bikes. Figure it out. Yeah, hit the button. Chicken sandwich. <laughs> Just sacrifice a chicken sandwich a month. Starbucks. For Christ's sakes. Come on. <laughs> we'll see you there. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>